Medications generally have side effects that can be mild, moderate, or severe and can affect different um, areas of a patient's life. Most psychiatric medications can cause some weight gain. Um, antipsychotics that are being used now for a number of conditions are more on the higher end of causing weight gain, although not all antipsychotics cause the same degree of weight gain. We have pretty good probabilities which medications have the highest degree of weight gain and then also the highest degree of metabolic abnormalities that are either related to the weight gain or can occur just because of the medication. With metabolic, I mean changes in blood sugar and blood fats that have a, a negative outcome later on on the risk for cardiovascular illness similar to the weight gain. So we're very concerned about this side effect cluster because of its potential negative effect on cardiovascular risk factors and illness like diabetes, um, heart attack, stroke in the future. And the worry is that if, if the weight gain occurs early in life that these in occurrences that happen usually late in life might happen again in mid-adulthood and shorten people's lives. So we're really concerned about that. But on the other hand, we're also concerned about the mental illness that can also shorten people's lives. They can have suicide, they can have uh, an abortion of their um, educational or professional lives. So we need to titrate again the risk of the medication against the risk of the illness. But how can we then try to mitigate or reduce the risk of weight gain with medications? One example is antipsychotics. First of all, we should use the lower risk medications first. Uh, patients might respond to one medication and not another. We shouldn't start with the highest risk medications. So in terms of weight gain, the highest risk uh, medications are Zyprexa and Clozarel. Clozarel is given for the refractory patients and it's more effective than others, but olanzapine or Zyprexa is not really, has not shown to be that much better than anything else, but it has clearly more side effects. Seroquel, which is used a lot for certain conditions, um, even involving mood or anxiety or sleep, has similar weight gain as Risperdal, but has more metabolic abnormalities. And on the lower end, we have um, Abilify, Geodon, and now also Latuda, which are maybe the lowest risk agents. And we don't know exactly uh, about um, Safras, but that might be somewhere in the middle. So it's important to choose those lower risk agents first, see whether there's a response, and only if people don't respond, then to move it up. At the same time, healthy lifestyle instruction should always accompany psychotropic medication prescribing and taking. So exercising ideally 30 minutes a day, that is even brisk walking can be helpful. Eating healthily, replacing uh, fast food with um, particularly vegetables, with fruit, um, very important um, to have also family meals. It's been shown that when families have meals together, that ba basically the diet is also improved. If your child has a problem with weight, either originally even without medications or now accentuated or started through the medication, trying to diet can be very hard. Research shows in non-psychiatrically ill patients that kids succeed the most when parents do the same thing. Unless you help your kid, they will not succeed. You need to change the diet for the family. You need to change the activity behavior for the family. There is still the school meal that can be a problem because in the US the school meals are not as healthy as they should be, but maybe you wanna have a plan to give some food to school with you, uh, to make it at home, and then uh, give it to your kid. It should be fun to eat healthily and act healthily. So you should, should make it a family occurrence and, and have rewards built in because it's hard. It's easier to gain weight than to lose weight. That's clear for all of us. And if you have a mental illness and if you take medication, even more so. So if you've done the healthy lifestyle instruction, it didn't work, maybe then um, a weight management program, going to a clinic, trying to get guidance there. Go on the internet. There's also the American Pediatric Association um, uh, weight management program that you should follow. Uh, one of it is that uh, parents shouldn't be too stringent in their, in their looking at the diet. It should be somewhat also flexible to sometimes allow for some excursion and not always try to be super good because then kids might give up. So if you've tried the healthy lifestyle, the lower risk agent and either you had to go to a higher risk agent or they still gain weight, 
then there are also medications you can add to reduce the weight gain and reduce the metabolic problems, even below the threshold of having a clear dyslipidemia or, or diabetes. And there are two medications that can be added. One is metformin or glucophage, which is originally an anti-diabetic medication, but it has been shown in now 11 studies when you add it to antipsychotics, there is a reduction in weight, about three kilograms in three months. That's not the world, but on the other hand, it's a mean, meaning some gain less, uh, some lose less, and some lose quite a bit more. In addition, there's also an improvement uh, in the metabolic abnormalities, particularly the, the blood sugar problems and insulin resistance. The second medication is topiramate or Topamax. That is uh, an anti-epileptic medication that can be added and people can lose weight, again, about three kilograms in three months. Sometimes kids can have word-finding difficulties, so you should do this, obviously, only together with a doctor, discuss that with a health professional, um, and then monitor whether your kid has some more cognitive uh, problems. So those are the two best uh, uh, studied medications. Then there are a couple of other medications that are approved for pediatric obesity, but they haven't been studied enough in conjunction with antipsychotics. This can, or, or psychotropic drugs, but this can be tried, um, um, and you should discuss that with your doctor. They have novel uh, approved combination treatments for obesity, but I think one should only go to that uh, after the um, glucophage or Tupamax have been tried.